Welcome back to Belarus, my friends. We're doing everything we can to hurt these Germans and devastate their upcoming patrol. We've got a special little ability here, and that is going to be the infantry mine. This thing can absolutely cause some serious damage to infantry, and we're hopefully going to use it on the German foe. Let's plant this baby. Oh, they might see us. Come on, come on, come on. This is, of course, an anti-personnel mine. This is perfect. And what we need to do is try and ambush this convoy and kill all these Wehrmacht soldiers. The problem is, of course, they're much better trained than their Ukrainian counterparts. And also, we don't exactly have much ammunition or much health uh, to really get into a major gunfight here. So I'm hoping that this is going to do a lot of damage. We should also go ahead and immediately heal ourselves. And keep our fingers crossed for Mother Russia, boys. We probably should have taken defensive positions here. We are preparing for an ambush, of course. Here we go. Oh, yes! That worked beautifully, and incredibly, that was still not part of the convoy security. We have a lot of work ahead of us here. Let's proceed forward. As you can see, some of our men are actually wounded. We can actually increase the skills of a few of them. Let's jump over here, and I wanted to increase his shotgun skill, and I wanted to increase his PPSH skill. But I might actually switch that for a heavy weapon and give this guy a heavy machine gun in time. Let's focus on the SMGs for now. He's actually carrying an MP40, although we only have five rounds in it. You guys can see, obviously, the problem that this causes. Well, let's search these bodies, see if there's anything worth taking, and then proceed forward towards this convoy and hopefully get the hell out of here. Already poisoned some food rations. Now we need to make the enemy think that that's our main focus, when, of course, it really isn't. Glad to have that machine gunner out of the way. Come on, boys. Yeah, they didn't give us any more SMG rounds. I might switch back over to the rifle. I really like how in this game you even find rare weapons. So, for instance, we found this rare Luger. Unfortunately, or this common Luger, but of course it could be rare. Unfortunately, we don't have the required ammo for it. Oh, hold on a second. We might. Let's switch over to the Luger now. We have seven rounds in this baby. Look at that guy. Every single one of them hit. I love that. That was really fun. And now, of course, we want to proceed towards the vehicles here. This is where the main action is going to be happening. Now, we need to try and lure these guys out. The problem is all we really have is this bottle to try and get him to look over here. Um, I want to see if it's going to work. Because so if we can bring one of them over here and shoot them, then we'll at least kill him silently. Then, of course, we got one less security guard to worry about. I'm hoping this is going to work out. What is that, Schnapps? He's coming over here. He's coming over here. This could be a chance to take out the security detail. All right, come on. Please let me pick this guy up without any issue. We can't fight eight of these guys at once, especially look at our actual weapons, guys. We're so close to being out of ammunition. It's one reason ammunition is so important in this game. Uh, you can also craft it back at your hideout, but that takes time. We want to try to get as much as we can here. So we've taken them out. We can try to lure some more over with bottles, but obviously we're going to need to actually get into camp um, to engage these guys. So let's head over here. This is very risky. Very risky. Oh, man. And maybe go this way. I just want to make sure that we, like, remain in cover at all times. Even attacking from here would be pretty good. We would have a really nice defensive area, but I don't think we have enough ammunition. Look at that! Oh, my goodness, they're everywhere! Gonna also go inspect in this building. There might be somebody inside. I don't like that machine gunner being there at all. I don't like this guy walking towards us either. There we go. It's gonna be one of the Ukrainian traitors. We've got him, boys and girls. Don't forget that we need to try to bring as many weapons as we can back to base. Oh, he may be spotting us right now. I hope not. I hope not. I hope it was just, uh... 
a, a slight concern. He doesn't seem to be looking this way anymore. He's going to try to take something from the medical cabinet. Yeah, let's, let's go over there and see if we can get some uh, supplies. And eventually we're going to have to set up an ambush or keep trying to take these guys down one by one. We may still be able to separate them. Look at all this stuff. Now, unfortunately, this it would be qualified as stealing items from the actual people. That lowers our morale, although sometimes it is necessary. So we're not going to do it for now. Let's just go ahead and get set up here. I am getting prepared to go ahead and uh, try and get a sneak attack on this guy. So let's head back outside. Getting rid of the machine gunner obviously would be a huge, huge plus for us. Oh no, he's looking over here. He's looking over here. Oh, oh my goodness, get inside! Get inside! It's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. Oh man, that's always terrifying when that happens. We don't need the, the, the empty shell casings aren't going to do us much good. Go back about your business. Alright, come on, brothers. Let's see if we can get a kill here. I don't know if we're going to have time to drag him over. That's, that's a whole other story. Come on, come on, come on. We can do this. This game has given me a whole lot more respect with the uh, the issues partisans had to face to accomplish their missions. You know, obviously just getting to this point took quite a long time. I didn't even show you guys uh, me poisoning the food rations, which was an entirely separate task. But I think we'll be getting quite a lot of vengeance with this if we can accomplish it. And I'm going to try to get him as well, the same way we got this guy. Let's drop him, get our knife back, of course. Let's see if he's got anything worth taking back to base. I always love these clips. They're always helpful. And I believe these are Luger rounds, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yes. That's beautiful, guys. Now to get this guy and to hopefully wrap up the operation. I would recommend anybody playing the game at this point to safe, for sure. Now I've decided to hide somewhere to get a little bit of an edge on the enemy. I think you guys can probably figure it out. As soon as this guy turns around, we're going to go straight for him with a knife. Worst case scenario, I'll get into this bush and start, start taking cover. But my plan is to get rid of him, get rid of him, potentially get rid of him so that we just have fewer enemies to deal with here um, as we proceed towards our ultimate mission goal. So let's get right to that bush and we got to be quick, man. That's what I'm worried about. He's getting an inkling of potentially some partisan activity, but maybe it was just a shadow. Thank you. Thank you very much, soldier. I can't kind of I don't know what that means. Let him go back. Once this guy passes by, an immediate toss of the knife should get rid of him. And then, of course, we want to go for this guy. An MP40 is not an easy weapon to deal with. I'm sure the enemy knows that. <laughs> Let him pass by. Let him pass by. Don't look this way. Let's pick him up. Looks like we might also have uh, some items here to take a look at. Going to dump him in the bush. And of course, get our knife back, first of all. Let's take a look here in the pack. Looks like just a standard clip. I want to try to actually sort of sort that out a little bit better. Make it look nicer. Now we're going to see if we can't do the same to this guy, friends. I hope this works out okay. Oh... Please don't look this way. Please don't look this way. We're going to go to our west. Continue to our west into the bushes here. That's two enemies down. Will it be enough? I don't know. That's four of the eight of this convoy. We should be able to get out of here with, uh, with not much issue if we do this quickly. And of course, pick up the knife. I also want to make sure to have our guys into position to begin to fire. And of course, I'm going to take those eggs knowing just how valuable food is in this game to feed the rest of the partisans. While we're at it, let's bring these boys through to this side, and we are going to prepare our final assault. Now I'm going to try to use this truck to our advantage. Hopefully we're going to get very lucky and we're going to be able to cross without being spotted uh, here by these guards. 
Let's push over here. I think the best place to kill him is going to be all the way at the bottom. This is where they're least likely to see him. Oh, you lucky devil. You, you might just get away. Yes. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, pick him up. We don't even necessarily need to put him in the bushes. Yes, we do. Drop him. Drop him. Oh, my God. All right. We're going to try to get right back over here. Uh, into a defensive posture. I'm gonna bring these guys over and put them in the same defensive posture. Actually, we'll put them here. So we've gotta fight it out now, boys. There's no turning back. One down. That Luger is coming in handy. Unfortunately, of course, we have one of our partisans down. Good shot. I think it's just one more, guys. One more of the enemy security. We cannot surrender at this point. I'm going to take cover behind the motorbike. This is part of partisan life. Sometimes things do not go as planned. No doubt this is one of those situations. I'm going to reload that Luga and try and ambush this guy. Got an officer here. Oh, nine! Got a damn grenade coming our way. Gotta make this work, guys. I am gonna start returning fire. Well, the boy has to get really close to return fire with the shotgun. Let's just get into cover. Do anything we can to get this officer. Here we go. Let's see if we can't cut him off completely. Two partisans against one officer. I think we win every time. I could be wrong. Get that shotgun ready, son. This is the moment you've trained for. We got him. We did get him. Absolutely amazing. Now, of course, since our guy is near death, we are going to have to pick him up. But I believe that that is a mission accomplished. In fact, I wonder... Oh, goodness. Every family's in pain. I wonder if we can go ahead and um, heal him here. I don't believe so, though. Where did our man go down? Was this him? No, I don't think so. I think these are the two guys we uh, we killed earlier. There's an MP40 there. We leave no men behind, even the Germans. I wonder if we should just go ahead and snag that MP40 before picking our guy up. No. Yeah, I think we should. Let's let's pick it up. Much more useful than um, than the shotgun. Looks like we already have an MP40, but it's just like an ultra common one. Let's see if we can just kind of restructure our rounds to be able to take that. Because that can certainly be used by the rest of the resistance. And we've also got some matches, different uh, food items, tobacco, which is going to be extremely, extremely helpful to the cause back home. Let's take that. All right. And actually, I'll take the rest of the rounds with this fellow. Or we'll switch it to him at the end of the, the mission, because that guy actually has uh, a Luger, which can actually use most of these rounds. As well, pick that up, too. And again, we're just scavenging to get anything we really can in terms of uh, enemy supplies to bring it back to base. See, that's what I'm talking about. Some more med kits, some more tobacco, some more matches. This all has value. So let me see. I have a med kit here. I wonder if we can use that to get our guy up. We might not be able to, but for instance, if I just put this here. Let me see. X. Hopefully we can help him out. We've been brave throughout this fight. We don't want you to die. So we're going to use the most expensive med kit we found. And great, he is back. That is awesome news. Let's go ahead and use that med kit on him. So that he's fully healed. And now we need to know how to escape from this damn place. Uh, first, we're not done scavenging. I might even kind of go through the trucks here. Um, go through the different men that have been taken out. And just pick up whatever we can. Because obviously in this game, the most important thing um, is to have enough items to live to see another day. Get that a few extra pistol rounds. Don't mind if I do. A syringe. Let's just 
just merge those pistol rounds together. And I think this is going to be a successful mission, boys. Now, of course, we've got a wounded commander. He didn't get wounded during this mission, but I'm sure this mission didn't help. Uh, but hopefully we've got enough supplies to treat him. We're building an infirmary back at the actual partisan hideout. And it looks like we've done an excellent job today. Hopefully just enough to divert those soldiers away and get them to actually bring those supplies in. That would be tremendous. Let's leave the mission. Success. 28 of 33 enemies killed. We left five of the Ukrainian traders alive. Nonetheless, a success against the Reich. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. It helps us a lot. Catch you on the next one, folks.